All right, so let's uh, look at a example using the trapezoidal rule. Uh, this this example I'm going to do is a trig function. I've got another video uh, that has a rational function, so you might want to check it out. So we're gonna we're gonna approximate this integral using trapezoidal rule. So if we got an integral a to b of f of x dx, then t sub n is equal to delta x over two times f of x naught plus two f of x one all the way to f of x sub n. Now notice all the terms in the middle here is two multiplied by the function evaluated at whatever number. The first and last terms you do not multiply by two. And delta x is b minus a over n. There's b and there's a. n will be given to you. x sub i, well, that's this x naught, x1, x2, so on. So, see, the, the first value that you plug in when we've got a zero here, that means we're just going to, we'll start out with a. And then the next one, if that's a one, that's going to be a plus delta x. See, we got the one here, that's a plus delta x. So, uh, basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to start right here at this bottom limit and then you're going to add delta x each time to get to the next one. Okay, so let's come over here and look at the example. We've got the integral from 0 to pi of sine x dx and they tell us n is equal to 4. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to find delta x. So remember delta x is b minus a, so that's pi minus 0 over n, and n is 4, so we get delta x is pi over 4. All right. So we have t4, n is 4, that's going to be delta x, okay, so what's the formula? Remember, over 2. All right, so that's over 2 times f of, now, what's the first number that we're going to plug in? Well, it's that, it's that lower limit here, 0. So that's f of 0 plus, and then remember, it's 2 times f of. Now, remember, delta x is pi over 4, so we're going to add pi over 4 each time. So that's pi over 4 plus 2 times f of, and then I'm going to add pi over 4 to this one, to this. Pi over 4 plus pi over 4 is 2 pi over 4. So that's pi over 2 plus 2 times f of. Now remember, this was what? <clears throat> this was 2 pi over 4, and we reduced it, see? That's 2 pi over 4. If we add pi over 4, we reduced it. But if we add pi over 4 to this, that's going to leave us with 3 pi over 4 plus, and then add pi over 4 here. That's going to give us 4 pi over 4, which is pi. And see, we've reached our upper limit. So that's just f of pi. <clears throat> All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find an exact value to this where we don't use a calculator and then I'll find the uh, and then I'll plug that in and give you the decimal. Alright, so we've got t of 4 is equal to, now this pi over 4 over 2, remember that's 2 over 1, so that's pi over 4 times the reciprocal, so that's going to give us pi over 8, so this is pi over 8 out here, times, alright, so now I have to evaluate each of these in sign. Alright, so one thing you can do here, let me, let me do it down here, so if we draw the sine function, okay, this is pi, this would be 3 pi over 2, and 
this would be whoop, this would be pi over 2 all right so right off and then this is 0 so right off we can see that sine of 0 see we're plugging 0 in for x so sine of 0 well at x equals 0 y is 0 also so that's 0 plus 2 times and then pi over 4 well that's one you've got to remember that's square root of 2 over 2 and then we've got plus 2 times and then f of pi over 2 well what is the sine of pi over 2 well there's pi over 2 what sine it's 1 okay so that's times 1 plus 2 times and now we have we have 3 pi over 4 well where is uh where's 3 pi over 4 we're going to have to use reference angles here there's 3 pi over 4 and I need my reference angle okay so our reference angle would be what pi minus 3 pi over 4 which is pi over 4 and the sine of pi over 4 is what square root of 2 over 2 okay and then we've got to make sure we've got the sine right well we're in the second quadrant and sine is positive in the second quadrant so that's going to stay positive square root of 2 over 2 and then I have plus and then the sine of pi well what's the sine of pi there's pi sine is 0 okay all right so that's a little there's your quick little review on trig all right so let's see what we've got so we've got pi over 8 plus and then let's see the twos are going to cancel I'm sorry not plus the twos are going to cancel so that's going to be just square root of 2 plus and then this is 2 and then this is going to be plus square root of 2 and that's 0 and 0 so we're going to get pi over 8 times 2 square root of 2 plus 2 now this would be an exact answer if your teacher asked to asked you to find that and then if you plugged it into your calculator you would get 1.8961188898 and that's your answer so I hope this helped uh, check out the other videos give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching